Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Good whatever time it is where you are. Welcome to today's Math Minute. Uh, it's been a little bit. I've been uploading some shorts to YouTube, but I haven't done a Math Minute in, in I think, a couple weeks. This is Math Minute number 44, and I want to look at one of my favorite sequences. And I love to use this with my students because it is a non-numeric sequence. Or, I mean, it's made of numbers, so maybe it's a little bit strange to call it a non-numeric sequence. It is a non-operational sequence. Take a look at the sequence we have here. 1, 11, 21. What would you say is the next term in this sequence? Obviously, yes, 1,211. What? What is going on here? You might have expected 1 to 11. Well, that looks an awful lot like we're getting bigger by 10. 11 to 21 really seems to confirm we're getting bigger by 10. Maybe the next term in this sequence is simply 10 plus 21 makes 31. Without giving you any other context, I would be forced to say, Sure, the next term in this sequence could be 31, but I told you this was a non-operational or non-numeric sequence. If I'm Addington, 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 that is very much an operational sequence. In fact, that's what we call an arithmetic sequence, a sequence where the terms get bigger or smaller by the same amount each time. That is, there's some kind of common difference between the terms in the sequence. The other most common type of operational sequence is what's called a geometric sequence. A geometric sequence is one in which the terms grow by some ratio. That is, rather than add by the same amount, we multiply by the same amount. To get from 21 to 1211, you might think, well, we're multiplying by roughly 60, so could we multiply by another 60 to get something around 72,000 for the next term in this sequence? And you certainly could, though of course you would not have multiplied by 60 to get from 1 to 11 to 21 in the first place. But even so, it turns out that roughly 72,000 is not the next term in this sequence. Instead, the next term in this sequence is 111,221, meaning we're now growing by a factor of roughly 100, even faster than we were a moment ago. What's a little bit strange, if you haven't figured the sequence out yet, is that the next term would be only about three times bigger than where we are right now. It would be 312,211. I don't want to give it away just yet. Take a second, pause the video if you want, see if you can think through what's happening here. But it's actually my second clue, without giving it away just yet, that I really want to look at in this video. This sequence, which you can see right now does use the digits 1, 2, and 3, never uses any other digits. No matter how far forward we go in the sequence from here, and it gets a lot larger, the only digits we ever use are 1, 2, or 3. Another clue before I give it away. So again, if you want to figure it out yourself and you haven't already, pause the video. Instead of thinking about this operationally, trying to think of it as an arithmetic sequence or a geometric sequence, trying to add or multiply by something over and over again. Look at the numbers themselves and say those numbers, but don't say them the way we might normally say them, 1, 11, 21. Say them in terms of their digits. We start at 1, and then we have 1, 1, and then we have 2, 1. Do you see it yet? And then we have 1, 2, 1, one. Each subsequent term in this sequence is actually describing the previous term. So when I look at 1,211, what do I have? One, 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 two, and two ones. And that's why the next term in the sequence is 111,221. One of my favorite tools for finding cool stuff for students or sending students to do more research is the online encyclopedia of integer sequences. And this is sequence A005150 on the online encyclopedia of integer sequences. If I haven't messed it up, these are the first 11 and change terms. I could not actually finish the last term because it got too long on my iPad screen. But you can see how in general the sequence is growing. This is called the look and say sequence because you look at it and you say the number out loud. Now again, what I really want to look at today is why on earth won't any digit other than 1, 2, or 3 ever appear in this sequence? And the first thing I'm going to do is demonstrate with an example why it is that that's impossible. But then the second thing I want to do is to try and prove it a little more formally, a little more rigorously than just looking at one particular example or counterexample. Hey, quick reminder. Oh gosh. On TikTok, I've been telling people, hey, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'm gonna give you this pair of AirPod Max, yeah, AirPod Max uh, headphones. And even if you're already subscribed to me on YouTube, you know, you're the OG subscribers. You deserve a chance to win the AirPod Max uh, headphones just as much as anyone else. So comment down below, and I'll put you in the drawing. I'm gonna take all comments through this Friday. 
So if you comment on a video, like a video, comment on a video, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and you will be in the drawing for that uh, pair of, it's not a box. There's actual headphones in this box. I'm gonna give away, um, you know, the actual thing. Why is it that no digit other than one, two, or three will ever appear in this sequence? Well, there are two ways to go about proving this. One is with a simple counterexample. And counterexamples are typically quite nice, though sometimes a little unsatisfying. So I'm gonna try and show it both with a counterexample and with a more rigorous style proof. Now, to be clear, proving things in math is actually not one of my strong suits. I'm very good at algebra manipulation, definitely good at things like mental math, decent, I think, at explaining things, but proving things is a little bit beyond me sometimes. But we're gonna try and prove it, you know, at least in words. So we're gonna talk through it. The first thing to think about is where do new digits in this sequence come from at all? Obviously we start with one and the first two terms only have the digits one. The first time we get a digit other than one, it is this two and it's a describer digit. So we're gonna have this distinction between digits that describe previous terms and the digits that are being described from previous terms. We'll give those some symbols in a second. This two comes from describing the two ones that appeared previously, just like this three comes from describing the three ones that appeared in the previous term. So if we were going to have a four that ever appeared in any term in this sequence, it must have come from describing four items that appeared in a row. Now what those items were doesn't really matter, so I'm just gonna call them one. So we're gonna imagine that at some point in this sequence, four ones in a row came up. Now, like I said a second ago, I wanna give some symbols to the two kinds of terms that can ever pop up. The describer terms, that is the term that's describing how many items in a row there were in the previous term, we're gonna call those O. And the digit that was being described in the previous term, we're gonna call that E. After the first term in the sequence, all of these digits come in pairs of O, E. We have a describer and then a described from the one, one. We have a describer and then a described, a describer and then a described that generated the 1,211. So every single term in this sequence always comes from some pairs of describer and described digits. That means the only way this for something, again, I'm doing four ones, could have ever come up was with a describer, described pair, describer, described pair, or something that actually started before we saw the term and would end up looking like this. So let's call this first thing case number one. How is it possible we would end up with just two pairs, O, E, O, E, with four ones in a row, which is the only place that four could possibly come from? It must be that this one was describing this one. So the previous term in this sequence would have had one, one. But then this O, E pair would be describing the same thing, one, one. And so the previous term in the sequence must have had another one after that one. But if we had had these two ones in a row in the previous term, we wouldn't have described it as one, 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 one. We're supposed to collapse our descriptions. We're supposed to say how many digits in a row there are. We would have called this two ones. And so it would not have been one, 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 one. It would have been two ones, which means we couldn't have generated a four one in the next term. Okay, so maybe this just came from the second case instead of the first case. Maybe this trailing one is what was being described, and I don't know how many there were, it doesn't really matter, one, one, two ones, or three ones, there was some number of ones in that previous term. But then following that up would be yet another one, 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 and then following that would be one of something. Now at that point it doesn't really matter, it could be a two, it could be a three. Even so, these two ones are causing a problem for us because they would not have been described as some number of ones, one, one, we would have had to collapse them together. It must have come from two ones, one, one, which would really be three ones. And so again, we can tell that could not really have generated four ones in a row. At this point, we've shown why the only two cases that could generate a four don't actually happen, and therefore we can see no four will ever be generated in this sequence. You can use similar logic to show why five, six, seven, eight, and nine are also not possible in this sequence. But can we say something about this more generally? Can we do this without numbers at all? Can we actually do this without a counterexample at all? Yes. 
If we recognize that after the first term, every term in this sequence is always some number of pairs of describer described digits, OE, 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 we can see why it's never possible to get more than three in a row that are actually the same term. These E's are the key to what's going on there. Any two consecutive described terms cannot be the same digit because otherwise we would have collapsed them down together and we would have described them by saying two ones, three ones, or whatever it might be. So if this E has to be different from this E and this E has to be different from this middle E, then whatever that E is, the most number of digits in a row that can be the same would be the OEO triple. Going back to numbers now, if that middle E had been a one, then this E over here and this E over here would have to be some digit other than one. These could be the same, that could be a two, that could be a two, but they can never be the same as this middle described digit because then that would have been collapsed in the previous step. Another way to think about this is that the only reason three ever even appears in the sequence is that I can have this O, E, O triple where they happen to end up all being the same. So I could be describing some term Term with one, one, and then one of something else, and in the next step, those three ones in a row is what generates three. But it's never possible to get another one in front of or behind that block. Using the same digit, the largest we can ever get is an OEO triple, and that's why three is the greatest number to ever appear in this sequence. So again, that's one of my favorite sequences. I hope that that was a little bit interesting to you. Uh, comment down below, how would you simplify this proof? How would you prove that only the digits one, two, or three ever appear in this sequence? I know it can get simpler than what I'm doing here, and I'd love to get your thoughts. Comment also if you're interested in winning the uh, iPod Pro Max, no, 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 this is not new, I oh gosh, iPod Max, uh, headphones, and I'll see y'all in the next one.